Oh, I seem to have exploded. Hello, welcome back to the Spanless Game, where I'm playing every Super Nintendo game in order of release. And I have four games today. Big Sky Trooper, Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday, Secret at Evermore, and Spawn. And our first game today is Big Sky Trooper. And it's... It's gonna be a platformer, is it? I don't know. We got this dorky kid on the left. We got a cool robot with a stupid thing on his face holding some red soap bars. And then we got this uh, girl on the right who's got an old timey telephone. Have no fear, Jack is here. It's Jack Spud Top to the rescue. As a 21st, 21 star general in the Big Sky Troopers, is your job to stop the dastardly Sultan of Slime and his evil alien armada of slippery slugs from taking over the universe navigate your way across the interstellar skyway with the help of your skykick fido a flexible interactive digital omni computer and then battle your way through every wacky world to collect an arsenal of weapons find the face of space at least little slow great jvc i know them more from making cassette or uh, vhs tapes than uh, video games now Lucas Arts. Now there's a name I know. Big Sky Trooper. Be uh, the most normal one. The weird robot. This is not a platformer, is it? I thought I said I wanted to be. The, why am I the, the kid? Oh. Okay. Numbers. Doing things. I can avoid the ESS Dire Wolf, General. It's K9 class attack cruiser, the finest in the fleet. Arf. I am Fido, your ship's flexible interactive digital dominant computer, and Big Sky Trooper's best friend when you need help. I'll supply it when you get in trouble or bail you out. Together we are invincible. If you have any questions about running the ship, ask me about the operating manual. Go ahead and ask me a question. Here are the basics of ship operation. The menu screen, the map icon activates sky view map, the view icon activates viewports, Fido icon activates me. If you want to transport down to the planet, stand in the airlock and press the A button. If you want to transport up to the dire wolf, ready the Fido action icon and press Y to call me for assistance. If you want to heal your wounds, go on the plus sign and do things. If you can approach the chief to hand for space combat, press A to throw us. Talk a lot. Oh, that's useful. Okay, great. No go. No go. Well, where the hell am I supposed so to? not doing a very good job of starting me off in this game. Okay. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Where's your crappy game? And it just loops back. Seriously. What do I do? Fido. Okay, I guess I asked you about that thing. Controls, perhaps. Okay, can I do that thing you said? Uh, no, maybe I'm the idiot. What about the airlock, he said? Stand in the airlock and don't be a dingus. Those don't look like airlocks. Um, here? No. This? This? Okay. Game, you're starting to make me mad. Where the hell's the airlock? Okay. 
Oh my god, I hate this game. I'm trying to give it a chance, but it's just not doing anything for me. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, why don't you stand in the airlock and press the A button? Where's the airlock, you idiot? Oh. Gotta hold the A button. Oh, now I'm the robot. Weird. I can wait just as long as you can, game. Is it broken? I, th I think it's broken. I think my totally legit copy of this game might be broken. I'm going to rate it based on what I've seen. Graphics, um, eh, judging from the screenshots and what I played, I'm going to give the graphics a 6. Sound um, seemed okay. We'll give that a 5. Music had some. We'll give that a 5.5. Uh, story, I guess it's an RPG. I don't know. We'll give it a 5. Probably has a good story. RPGs usually do. Controls, uh, we'll give that a 4.5. Funness, a 4. Doesn't hold my attention. A 2.5. I'm mostly mad. I can't see more of the game. Overall, though, it's going to get a 5.5. It was Big Sky Trooper. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. And it's a Warner Brothers Looney Tunes game, so you know it's probably not that great. Nice box art, though. Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. Porky Pig's going to dream vacation to Dry Gulch Creek Haunted Theme Park, but as he sleeps, the holiday of his dreams turns into a real nightmare. Be brave, choose your skill level, and guide Porky through six scary worlds like Haunted Woods and Dry Gulch Ghost Town. Be careful, each world is filled with hazards, traps, tons of ghosts, monsters, and will villains to trash and smash. Be surprised, the amazing chaos mapping system actually changes the weather each time the game is played. It's no rain fog, you never know what you'll be up against. Be a hero, is the little piggy just crying wolf, or is it really a dream come true? Pack all your game playing skills because this is a trip you'll want to take over and over again. I somehow doubt that. Licensed game by acclaim? It's gotta be good. Ah, yeah, there's that acrobat character you're trying to force down my throat. Developed by... yeah. That's a lot of colors. Come on. Where's the Looney Tunes music? As Porky Pig is looking through his holiday brochures to plan his upcoming vacation, he drifts off to sleep and finds himself in a haunted, 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 haunted holiday nightmare. Now, there's some load times in this game. Dabba dabba dabba. I can't do Porky Pig. Actually, all the Looney Tune characters are kind of hard to do. It's got some good animations, though. Ducking. Jumping. Wow. Come on, Super Nintendo. No, oh, I'm dead already. It looks cool. It's animated well. Don't like the leprechaun man. Oh, there's spikes there too. Well, that's mean. The, look at this situation I'm in, okay? At the spitting ball, we got a leprechaun on the other side of the spikes, and there are spikes. How in the... Uh, wow, this game is horribly mean. <sighs> Meany game. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's all, folks. Yeah, you get those cupcakes, Porky. Oh, my god. Like, after I play this, I'm gonna eat some bacon. 
You hear that, Porky? I'm gonna eat your family. Oh, you can jump on things? Okay, that doesn't hurt. That's good to know. That would have been good to know before. Oh my goodness. This game is very mean. Graphics. Um, I'm gonna give those an, uh, dabba 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 an eight and a half. And sound. Not a lot in the sound department for there. Music was just kind of moody, but they didn't have the Looney Tunes song at the beginning, so we're going to give that a 4. Story, we'll give that a 2. Controls, um, controls are okay. It's just very difficult. We'll give it a very unforgiving. We'll give it a 4.5. Funness, a 3.5. Does it hold my attention? It just looks nice. Um, it's a nice looking game. We'll give that a 5. And overall, it's going to get a 5. It's just very difficult, but um, I might not be mad watching somebody who knows what they're doing playing through it. Just not going to be me. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Secret of Evermore. 24 meg action adventure giant spider thing. Discover the secret of Evermore. In Dr. Sidney Ruffelberg's old decaying mansion, a boy and a dog stumble across a mysterious machine. By sheer accident, they are propelled into Evermore, a one-time utopia that now has become a confounding and deadly world. A world of prehistoric jungles, ancient civilizations, medieval kingdoms, and futuristic cities. During his odyssey, the boy must master a variety of weapons, learn to harness the forces of alchemy, and make powerful allies to battle Evermore's diabolical monsters. What's more, his dog masters shape-changing to the aid the quest. But even if they can muster enough skill and courage, even if they can uncover the mysterious crews, clues, they can only find their way home by discovering the secret of Evermore. Featuring rendered graphics. Okay. Kind of sounds like the plot of uh, Ultima, right? So Ultima is the one with the uh, uh, where you're sucked. You're in the modern era and you're sucked into a fantasy world or something. Or is that a mystery science theater movie? Or Led Zeppelin song? I don't know. Yep. Yep. Podunk, USA. That's where I'm from. Fall of 1965. Playing marbles. Teenagers on a date. Go and see the movie The Adventures of Loxley. Cat outside a bar. Hardware store. 50% off sale. I want to go to there. Experiment is about to conclude. sounds. My friends, prepare to be a part of history. With a twist of a knob here and a flip of the switch there. Wait a minute, that's not right. Oh, I seem to have exploded. Thirty years later. Hey, it's the same cat. Hey, it's Marty McFly. What a classic. My favorite part was the battle with the slime beast in the toxic swamp. You could hardly tell that it was really a bunch of old tires and a garden hose. Where are you going, buddy? It's not a very smart move. Whatever he said. Doug Head Software. Now where did he go? Doc? door is open. I better take a look inside. There you are. 
You know, I think that cat is long gone. Hey, where'd you go? Yikes, watch out for that. Whoops. Hey, look. A mummy, a chainsaw, and a balloon animal. Hmm. This wall panel's kind of loose. Well, I think we found some sort of secret entrance. Look at us go. It's been running for 30 years. Wow, this looks like one of those PZZS plasma drives when cause Clyde. I wonder if it works. Yeah, that's smart, kid. Let's play it's the dumbest kid on earth in this game. We should get out of here before something goes terribly wrong. Why'd you step under it? Yeah, hey, don't chew on those wires. You can change his shape into any other type of dog. If my dog wasn't on the floor, I would cut to the Cooper camera right now. What have we here? An intruder. Hmm. That was some blast! Ah, Doc Brown, with no hair. Who are you? That is unimportant. We've got to get you out of here. We can't have you meddling with the professor's experiments. Come along. No, oh, I got that. That was the professor. Who's that, Carlton? Do we have a visitor? It's no one. We all sound the same. Continue with your work, Professor. Through the anus tube. The sphincter will put you out here. Now what? Hmm? I got a bazooka! Cool. This does not look good. Bash you with my bazooka. I like wasted a bullet. Okay. Looks like a way out. I think that's some sort of futuristic escape pod. Oops, there goes the control pad. Let's keep an idiot. Mode 7. Oh, that's some landing. I think the pod and the bazooka are shot. Where am I anyway? Where's my dog? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, pupster. Where'd you go, boy? Wow. Is that really you? You've changed. Okay. Well, this isn't the stick, but it will do. Come on, buddy. Let's look around. Found the pedal. So it's an action RPG, is it? Nice moody atmosphere. Sound effects. I like the graphics with the foreground vines. It's all pretty interesting. It's going to mosey on up here. It's a leaf. Dinosaurs? Where are we? Okay. All right. Oh, I can't even hurt him. What am I supposed to do? Also, how many of them are there? Oh, I hit him for one. 
Great. I'm almost dead. Come back here. Let me hit you with my stick. Bone. He's dead. And the dog drags him off. That's cute. I'm gonna rate this game. I'm gonna rate the hell out of it. Graphics. Uh, I'm gonna give graphics a eight and a half. Sound. I'm going to give that a. Uh, we'll give it a nine. I like the atmosphere and the, the the cool sounds of the machine stuff was interesting. Music. Eight. Story seems kind of interesting. We'll give that a seven. Controls are pretty decent. We'll give that a six and a half. Funness, uh, seven and a half. Does it hold my attention? Uh, nine. And overall, I'm going to give this an eight and a half. I want to play more of that. It might deserve a higher score. It might deserve a lower score. Who the hell knows? I give it an eight and a half. Let's see what's next. Our final game today is Todd McFarlane Spawn the Video Game from the best-selling comic book. And the back of the box, you're vanishing... They're vanishing. Pawns in an unholy war. And out of the darkest shadow of the fearful city rises spawn enemies like the Violator, Redeemer, Overkill, and uh, Mal Malbolnia himself are everywhere. From Bedlam Asylum to the nightmarish Darklands can Spawn's special powers help him survive the madness, experience awesome combat, and intense graphics, and incredible style, a comic that started it all. Todd McFarlane's Spawn! And I claim with a licensed title is not always a good thing. There he is, it's Spawn. You flashed a Spawn! Thirteenth child abducted. Magenta! New York City? Hmm? That's a place. Hey. Things are happening. I guess. I've tracked children this far in the trail ends here. Where are they? Where are the children? Kids like kids, man. I just know we got paid heavy by some uh, new face to keep everyone out of that warehouse. I'm Spawn Man. Well, hello. Eh? <laughs> Guess I'm not supposed to fall down there. What can Spawn do for you? Kick? Punch? And that seems to be not much else. I'm on fire! I'm on fire again! Oh, it's just a beat em up game. A kind of. Old, style. like this, you know, uh, final fight kind of changed the job. I don't know if it's final fight that actually was the first to do it, but the depth and everything. Uh, I don't know. This feels a little more like an action game, but it's kind of a brawler. I don't know. It's kooky. It's not really a platformer. Because there are no platforms. Spawn has a very limited move set. He looks good doing it, though. It's not quite an action game, because it has these spots where you have to defeat all the enemies before the screen moves on. I don't really understand why I have a helicopter following me either, but it is what it is. I really don't have any special powers, really. Light and lit on fire. That's power, right? Yeah. I don't know, it's boring. Yeah. Graphics. Uh, the graphics are good. I'll give those a seven. Sound was okay. We'll give that a six and a half. Music, we'll give that a six and a half as well. Story, it doesn't seem to be much of one. One and a half there. Controls are okay. I just wish he had more to do. 
Give that a five. Funness, I'll give that a four. Does it hold my attention? Not really. Never into spawn. Uh, and overall, we're going to give it a five and a half. That was Todd McFarlane's Spawn, the video game, the movie, the soundtrack. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.